Welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. Were they just bidding on who could do the work in the least amount of time? What the hell? <laughs> wow. 18 minutes bid now 18. 17 minutes bid now 17. 14. 14 minutes bid now 14. 10. 10. 10. Now, if somebody comes along and tells you that you are getting the short end of the stick, age is 13 for You know what? I feel like watching from up here. Oh my god, what the hell? Jesus. <laughs> That's some serious competition. And no one even cared. There's a guard standing right there. And they didn't even care. Wow. Same upgrades, machine gun, blah blah blah. Yep, all the same ones. Need money? Found some money. Okay. Much obliged. Wow, that was a major lag spike. But it's back. All right, let's keep going. Um, what am I doing? <laughs> I kind of forgot. Didn't um Fink want to see me? Find the gunsmith Chen Lin. Alright, where's that? Somewhere over there, well. Let's explore everywhere else first. Here it is, Booker. Chen Lin, gunsmith. Alright, we'll go in there in just a minute. Oh, shit. Uh, they don't like me. I don't know why they don't like me, but they really don't like me. Why did they suddenly attack me? I didn't do anything, did I? Ooh, there's something up there. Oh, shit. Damn, that was weak. What have we got here? New hat. Increased throttle and braking control on sky. I don't care. Hell no. Replace my brief invulnerability, which by the way lasts for about five seconds, for increased throttle and braking control on skylines, which I'm rarely on. No. Hell no. That's terrible. Wait, that turret doesn't... isn't attacking me? Am I just not in its field of view? Hmm... Hold on, I'm gonna blow that up. Preemptively blow it up before it shoots me in the face. Ah, 
the hell is that? I never heard that song before. I don't suspect anyone's heard that song. Increases damage. Ah, I can't afford it. More money. Here. Never mind. Maybe I can. Thanks. What did I need? 666? Well, I've got it. Oh, of course. The cost to upgrade Devil's Kiss is 666. Of course. <laughs> it just dawned on me. I thought it was... I don't know. That didn't even occur to me until just now. <clears throat> um, the question is, do I want it? I rarely use the fire bombs. Honestly, I mostly use Bucking Bronco and electricity, and then to a certain degree, the crows for crowd control. That's basically it. Hmm. Nah, I think I'm going to save my money. Her lock pick. Grab it. Lately, I've been hearing a whole mess of funny new ideas. Paid vacation. Eight hour days. Workers' compensation. <laughs> Those are anarchist words, my friends. Wow. Oh shit. Whew. One day, ain't nobody noticed me. Then they think I done for Lady Comstock and well. Everybody notice me. I head to Finkton and I hide. I hide deep. The more they look, deeper I go. Only thing a color child can count on is the fact they invisible. All right, now let's go there. Anyone home? I have a pressing need to speak to this so-called false shepherd stirring up so much trouble. We got enough problems without this damn fool shooting up the city and blaming it all on the Vox. Though if he's amiable, yeah, yeah, he might be just the fellow we need for our immediate concerns. This must be a very big shop, if it requires a loading screen to get into it. Or maybe not. Chen Lin's shop. Man, they've really done an amazing job with the fire effects in this game. Fire is hard to do. Very hard to do. And this looks damn good. Apparently Elizabeth finds that rock fascinating. Ooh. 
Am I hearing people? It sounds like I hear a crowd cheering or something. I've read about this. That's got my Buddha. Who? The founder of Buddhism. He spent 49 days under a Bodhi tree until he achieved enlightenment. Something tells me Comstock doesn't cater to idols getting worship that ain't him. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Is anybody here? What happened here? Someone worked this place over. Local constabulary, no doubt. What the? I hear someone. I take it her husband is dead? Excuse me. Man, I'm sorry to bother you. You're looking for Mr. Lin? Mr. Chen Lin? Booker. Mr. Lin, not here. He... gone. Gone? They take... flying squad. I pray, Gautama Buddha. Pray, give husband back. Get back to Melin. Where did they take him? Club. Everyone take to good time club. Where is this club? <laughs> Ma'am, please, where where is this club? Booker will find it. <laughs> Just leave her be. Why not Vox Bully help Chen Lin? Why not Daisy Fritz Roy help Chen Lin? <laughs> well, maybe he's not dead. Cops. Kind who probably got their boot on Lin's throat, asking him how well he knows Daisy Fitzroy. Isn't she the one we're working for? As a matter of fact, it is. Let's figure out where this good time club is. Sounds like Mr. Chen is having a bad time at the good time club. Ironic. People out here again? And you're not running. Oh. Wait. Oh, shit. Uh. Jesus Christ. Take this now. Shit. Booker, don't die. Is that it? Is that, that's it right there, isn't it? Point that somewhere else. Alright, what do I have? What's gonna work? It seemed like Bucking Bronco did nothing to it at all. I think it's way too heavy. I hear something oh. Louder. I haven't found anything. Catch, Booker! Much obliged! Oh. I don't much care for you, Mr. Dwight. I must admit, you know your way around a brawl. Huh. 
A new shirt! A pyromaniac shirt! Hmm, so that would protect me against melee attacks. Nope. Not switching it. I'm sorry about what I said at the docks. I'm calling you a thug. Yeah. Can't see how I might have changed your sense of that. You protected me. <coughs> Job's a job. Oh, there's the good time club. Or the club good time, depending on how you read it. Did I put those down? I think I put those down. Let's test it. Yes, I did. and find Mr. Lin, and just call me Booker. How about no? Alright, anything new here? Probably not. Nope. Here's some cash. Jesus, that scared me. Now, now! All I ask is that you finish what you started to it. Wouldn't want to disappoint the other applicants. Our first candidate is a veteran of Peking. Now, what's that they say about old soldiers? <laughs> Frankly, my money Do is it. on you. Okay. He's something of an old hand at handling explosives. Only uh -oh. man I know who hasn't <laughs> lost a limb working with them. <laughs> Yet. Hey, that actually worked pretty well. I need the ammo. What the hell did that do? It didn't seem to do anything. More time to look. Oh. Elizabeth! There you go! Ah. 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 Alright, come here, you big bastard. Best thing to do to these things is just run up to them. Who's the next candidate, huh? Bring him on. Oh, the trap did go down. Okay, I really need some ammo. 
really, really need some ammo, and I don't want to use these shitty guns. Well, that didn't work. Oh, thank you. Uh, why is everyone screaming? Oh, the, the trap went off, didn't it? Yeah. Go ahead. You bet. <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome. Anyone else? Down some nice traps. Look her here. Much obliged. interested in your job, Fink. Now, now, I know all about your little job for Fitzroy. But do you really want to take her offer over mine? Do you know how many people were killed to be head of Fink's do security? It. Now! <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, Mr. DeWitt. A tough nut. <laughs> but <laughs> I promise you this. I will get what I want. Alright, is there anyone else coming or do I have to move? Where? Down here? Wait a minute, can I get more RPG ammo or is it gone now? Nah, it's gone. <clears throat> well, I'd really like that shotgun, but there's just no ammo for it. So I guess I'll stick with this. Look, there's a door over here. Oh, there we go. I just got some shotgun ammo. It's still not enough to justify picking it back up, though. I had thought you a fool, dear brother. When you told me that you heard wonderful music trumpeting from holes in the thin air, I began to doubt your mental integrity. But not only have you made your fortune from these doodads, you have lit the path for me as well.
I'm fighting an awful lot of shotgun ammo. Is that a shotgun? No, hand cannon. You know what? Let's test that out. I want to see how that... Shoots. Why did that door just open? Hmm, slow firing. I'm guessing it, it's high damage. But it's no shotgun. Hello, carbine ammo. Look, Chen Lin, cell number nine. Hmm. Need some help with this. Looks simple enough. They used to work for folks like Fink. Really? Yeah, I was with the Pinkertons. They call us in when the workers got restless. Do what? Demonstrate the folly of men striking, throwing down tools. You hurt people. I'll tell you this. Sometimes there's precious need for folks like Fitzroy. Why? Because of folks like me. Got it. This gun does an awful lot of damage. Code book. Any idea what it deciphers? No. Let's keep an eye out. Wow, that bird gets to hang out right next to a fireplace? That's gotta be awfully uncomfortable. Looks like they've been burning newspapers. It's weird. down here. Okay, apparently if you um if you're playing a audio log, it's a good idea not to move. Because the main dialogue in the game will completely interrupt everything. It's alright though, I'm sure Comstock was just saying some racist shit. Yeah, he doesn't look too good. These are just horrendous living conditions. Can you help me out with this lock? Let me see. Ready. Ooh. 
another piece of uh, another piece of gear. Vampire's Embrace. Melee kills give health. And what do I have? Killing an enemy from a skyline gives a 50% chance of brief invulnerability. Well, that's shit, so I'll take this. Alright, I wonder how much health it actually gives me. I should test that out. If it's quite a bit, if it's like 25% or something, that could be really valuable. Right up your alley. Really? That little old lock. This is it, isn't it? Yep. Number nine. All done. Do it? You're a lion. But you can't blame me for looking after my own interests, can you? Now I know Fitzroy has come calling. But I think you'll find your business with her has come to an end. <laughs> lions walk with lions, do it? It's disturbingly dark in here. Ugh. I take it they do some torturing down here. Lights, please. Ah. Okay, he's dead. Jesus. I sure worked him over. <clears throat> too late. God damn it. Ugh. Now we need to find someone else to make those guns. No. Dead is dead, Elizabeth. Dead? Is dead? What? How the hell did... I see heads. And I see tails. It's all a matter of perspective. Why are you following us? Who sent you? Comstock? What do you want? What do you see here, from this angle? Dead. Listen. And that angle? Alive. Walker. Chen Lin. This is becoming rather old. The body's gone. It was never hidden. It's another Columbia. A different Columbia. The same coin. A different perspective. Heads. Tails. Dead. Alive. We have to go through to this other Columbia, but how? It's like riding a bicycle. He never really forgets. One just needs the courage to climb aboard. If we go into this tear, I don't think I'll be able to bring us back. Are you sure you're ready? Well, I guess we don't have a choice, do we? Here we go. Okay, open it. Look. There's no blood. And no body. It's another world, Booker. Another Columbia. Something tells me one dead gunsmith ain't the only thing that's changed. Yep, we're in an entirely different universe. Alright, what is this repeater? Let's give it a shot. So it's like an assault rifle, I guess? It's like the SMG, except it shoots slower, so I'm guessing it does more damage. Yeah, it really doesn't hold that many shots. Hmm. I don't know, let's give it a shot. Until I get my beautiful shotgun back.
Sounds like there's a riot about to happen or happening. Oh, wait. What the hell? Who are these people? Looks like they just had a war and they lost. I guess that's Daisy Fitzroy's people. The resistance. Looks like they lost and they've just been put up in a cell. As some of them bleed to death. something like that and have everything else remain the same well these are completely different the people's voice this used to be a stack of newspapers and now it's a stack of posters is this universe where the vox populi have just completely been wiped out. a strong feeling that the terror we just opened, or maybe all of the terrors we've been opening, are creating, or are about to create, extreme problems. Elizabeth, that's a very bad place to take over. Alright, let's test the melee heal thing. Mm. That didn't heal very much. In the other world, he was the one who was strung up on the wall. In the other world? This whole business makes my head hurt. Need money? Catch! Alright, this repeater sucks. I want my shotgun back. Please tell me someone has a shotgun. Shotgun? SMG, SMG, SMG. Well, it just says machine gun, not submachine machine gun, but honestly, it feels like a submachine gun because it shoots very fast and it's very weak. I want my shotgun back.
Hello there. It always pays to explore. Ooh, shotgun, yes, yes. Ah, oh, shotgun. How oh, I've missed you. All right, what have I got? Let's upgrade, uh, hmm. Hmm. What do I keep running out of? Well, shield and health both, obviously. <clears throat> mm, I haven't really had any big issues running out of salt, so I'm gonna go with health. Perfect. Let's see if there's anything new around here. Alright, what is this? Boots. <laughs> Killing with excessive damage stuns nearby enemies compared to... Melee kills give health. Well, ah, hmm. I don't really care about the melee kills give health thing because I don't like attacking with my melee weapon. And I don't know how they define excessive damage, but I'm guessing using the shotgun to someone's face might count. And that'd be quite nice if I could, like, run into a crowd, shoot one person, and it would stun all the enemies around me. So, let's take it. Elizabeth? Let me have a look. Ready. 151. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Hello. Anyone? Come on, push up. I'm right here. Right here. Right here, just come and shoot me. Really? No one's gonna come. Alright, time to snipe. This what you wanted? Book a flat cannon! Oh shit.
Alright, it's time to get in the shit. There we go. Okay, that did not work as well as I thought it would. That was really cool in my mind, but it didn't work too well. I thought I was going to possess the turret behind me, and while the Bucking Bronco was active on all of the enemies in the area, I would shotgun them in the face. But instead, the possession went to the enemy in front of me. Everyone dead? Nope. Alright, there we go. Volley gun. Vo what is the volley gun? Let's test this thing out. Oh, it's a grenade launcher. Gotcha. No thanks, I'm good. I am comfortable with my short range and medium to long range weapons. Good to go. Go ahead. That. Help me out with this lock. That won't take but a minute. All done. Set it to midnight. Hold on just a second. Let me finish searching this place. Alright, before I do that, I will be right back. Alright, let's set this thing to midnight. I'm guessing it opens up, revealing a wall safe. Yep. because I believed in God, and because I believed in honor. But Slade has shown me this. There is no God in shutting our brothers out from the family of man, and there is no honor in defending those who are strangers to its meaning. Perhaps in Finkton there is one more deserving of my service. Hmm. Let's go with salt.
know, I pretty much don't even look at what's in the containers. I basically just mash F to loot everything. Alright, where are you, Chen Lin? Was that your name? Chen Lin? He should be in here. Do you hear anything? Huh? No machines. No tools. Let's go find that gunsmith. Maybe he's upstairs now. Booker, look. It's shrine. It's a figure of Comstock now. What? <clears throat> okay, that's a very big change. Has Chen Lin become a bit of a patriot? Hell... Oh wait, he's not... He's like, phasing. He's not here all the way. Here's some cash. Uh... Okay. Can I have it, please? It popped up for a second and then it disappeared. That's weird. Mr. Lin? Chen Lin? Excuse me, Chen Lin? Who are you? You speak up! Speak up! Can't hear you over all these machines! Very loud! I'm Booker DeWitt. Stand back! These machines very dangerous. Wait downstairs with Mrs. Lin. Uh, Daisy Fitzroy sent us. We need to talk to you about getting some weapons. Machines! Very dangerous! No place for stupid people! Want to lose pretty head? Mr. Lin... Downstairs! What is wrong with him? Remember him dead in that cell? Maybe in... in some way he remembers that too. How would you reconcile that? I don't know. Calm his troubled thoughts. Ease his burden. Yeah, I don't think um, opening that tear was the fix-all to our problems. I think it may have just created new ones. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm looking for Mrs. Lin. i Mrs. Lin? No, I, I mean a little Chinese lady. She was... Booker, this is Mrs. Lin. They took Chen's tools. What's he got without his tools? Well, your husband is a bit out of sorts. If he could work again, maybe... If, if he could work, he'd... Mrs. Lin, can you tell me who took your husband's tools? Goddamn police. They took them and locked them up in the impound in Shantytown. Would having his tools back fix his mind? Who cares? We're not getting any guns if Chen Lin doesn't have his tools. Let's head to Shantytown. Am I supposed to be stuck here? Am I really so fat that I can't fit through this hole? Alright, I guess I'll go this way. Nope. Excuse me. Jesus. What? What is this? Is this how you're meant to get past this part? Is jump over her idol and over her plants? To get around her? What the hell? All right. Did you notice? Lynn had a bloody nose. Seems to be in style. This Tara. I'm not so sure it was a good idea. Me neither. Where are they? I hear you.
I'm actually considering buying. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm actually considering buying ammo. <coughs> what the hell? <clears throat> there we go. Because I could really use some ammo for the shotgun. Um, how much does it cost? You know what? That's nothing. I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. Move this freight out of the way. You want to ask me? Ask me. About uh, what? My finger. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't. It's all right. It's as much a mystery to me as anyone else. Maybe Songbird knows, but he's not talking. <laughs> I'm sorry. What for? I get to wear this stylish thimble to cover up my hideous deformity. I hear they're all the rage in Paris. Wait, you have a weird deformity on your finger? I'd never even noticed. Hold on. Oh. Her pinky is, like, half missing. I had never even noticed that. Huh. Do it. Soften them up. <clears throat>
Man, those RPG guys take so many shots. Melee officially sucks. You must think me some sort of freak. A girl who can bring dead men back to life. Whose only acquaintance is a, a giant bird creature. I must seem ridiculous. You just got dealt a bad hand. I am not going back to that tower no matter what happens. They won't stop until they have you. Why? What did I do to them? Be frightened them. Good. This is what they want from us. To keep you so hungry, you can't speak much of them. To keep you so ignorant, you can't think of solutions to all your problems. To keep you chasing that almighty silver eagle so you can buy everything they're selling to keep you down, brothers. But Daisy Fitzroy says there's another way. Another way coming real soon. I hope that's true. <clears throat> People are like this because of Fink. Maybe Daisy's right. Maybe she should pay him back for all of this. Not before she pays us. We're here for guns and then the airship. <laughs> Jesus. The hell is that? Looks kind of like a rat. I guess it's a rat? Yeah, I think that's a rat. Ugh. Back it up, Skell. Wait, what? What the fuck? I, I was just standing looking at him and he. Pulled out his gun and called me a thief. What the fuck was that? No Alright, I think I just murdered some people. Sorry. Didn't mean to. No for you. I think you should see this. 
Oh, I see it. Although I think he might have been a thug, actually. I think he might have been withholding food and selling it to people for exorbitant prices. But I think I even killed this person he who was here. Who was, I think, just a patron. <sighs> oh well. <clears throat> Let's go with shield. Nice. I hear someone screaming as if they're trying to shoot me, but I, I'm not actually getting shot at. My Hank lost his job at the food plant, and they evicted all of us. Join the fight! Barely making a goddamn dent. I'm hungry, Bill. Oh, leave me alone. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm not gonna shoot you. Over there. Where? Oh. Uh, here you go, guys. All you can eat. <laughs> There's plenty enough for everyone. Don't freak out. Don't punch each other to death, please. This place is just... What? This place is just depressing. Oh wait, just hold on. Uh, uh, there we go. Oh god. I think I exploded his head like a melon. I'm hoping all the people that I'm killing are thugs. I don't actually know, and I don't even have a choice. I just ate a rotten banana. Ew. Are you sure that bottle's big enough? I'm not quite sure you can drown in it yet. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. Good day, sir. Is this stealing? Yes, it's stealing if I take that. Alright. No, 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 no. I'm not going to shoot you, so don't shoot me. All right. I think there's a lockpick over there. There's a dead person. Wait, the lockpick where? Oh, hello. There's a dead person in the corner. Anyone want to clean that up? No? All right. <clears throat> Same old upgrades. Yep. I see you have a bright future. A future in Finkton! You mind if I go back here? Hey, where are you going, kid? Don't worry, I'm not gonna shoot you. Will the 
Wow, that was beautiful. Hey, look, a lockpick. I love things like that. Almost makes me wish this wasn't an FPS. Um, excuse me. Excuse me, you're pushing me into the corner, Elizabeth. Excuse me. Jesus. Oh, she just wanted to have a seat. Fair enough. Seriously, I wonder what kind of a game this would be if it wasn't an FPS. It has such a, an incredibly rich universe that it's set in, or <laughs> universes, as it may be. Could be... I could see a really good adventure game being set in, uh, in Colombia. A really good adventure game. Really, there's so many things you could do with it. talking about Booker grab that lock Why are they screaming battle cries as they gorge themselves? What the? Uh, where did it go? <laughs> it just teleported out of existence. Assets seized by order of the Columbia Police Authority. Vox sympathizers. Wow. Just for sympathizing with the Vox Populi, you have your assets seized. Alright. Let's just let these people go. Watch yourself, kid. That lid's sharp. Don't cut your face off. Well, watch out, watch out, watch out. You're gonna cut your ear off, man. He doesn't even care. Alright, hold on just a second. I just need to check the environment for loot. Okay, now I'll let you guys down. Except, I can't. Never mind, I guess you're gonna have to stay there. Here's some cash. Here you go. Great. $3,000. Uh, 
50% faster for five seconds. Nope. There's the impound. We're gonna have to get through an army to get those tools. Alright, let's do a double attack here. Make no mistake, soldiers. The box and weapons go together like fire and gunpowder. One spark, and we'll have a blaze we cannot control. <laughs> Oh, yeah. That is a powerful combination. Where did that shot come from? Hey, what the hell is that? That? Oh, shit. Alright, that's doing nothing. So, yeah, I don't think I need to shoot them. Oh, I'm invulnerable for a little bit. Alright, let's use that to my advantage. Sure what's happening there. I think my bullet is not even is it hitting an invisible wall? There we go. Alright. <clears throat> see, where does this go? Where does that go? Looks like it goes up there. Alright, let's go this way. Get away from Elizabeth. Whoops, didn't no 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 no. Did not mean to do that. Go back. Go back. I meant to jump. Did not mean to attach. <laughs> I'm sorry, what were you laughing about? Is there something you find funny? Do it! Out in the open here, out in the open, bad idea. That was a really bad idea. I can help you. That was incredibly stupid.
Those massive guns are a serious problem. I don't think I can damage them with my normal weapon. No, never mind. I think I can. But it's going to take an awful lot. Uh, let me just grab this. Okay, I think that did, like, nothing. Yeah, that's doing, like, nothing. Alright. Uh, I don't want to go out into the open. I guess I just need to get behind them, right? Alright, let's go this way. Oh god, that looks nasty. What the hell happened here? Well, Fitzroy. You... You got a little cunning in you, if nothing else. Dropped a couple grizzly traps around the lines up here. Idea was to... To bleed one of your couriers... Till he gave you up. Except, of course, you're using kids now. Now I got this tiny engine boy eyeballing me. Tried to take his leg off. Damn thing's just lying here between us. I sure wish he'd cry or something. Good job, Preston. What a wonderful person you are. That way. Now! Sure thing! Oh, here we go. RPG. Did I just blow myself up with an RPG? Looks like I only have time to get one shot off. Alright, did a fair amount of damage. That should kill it. Actually, wait, let me do a little bit more damage with this RPG. Oh, God. Anyone else? Motorized Patriot! Ha! My eyes open for more. I think that's all the ammo. All right, back to the shotgun. There we 
we go. Let's see, can I actually get up there? I don't know if I can. I don't think I can. I think that's it. Let's go. It's locked. Okay. There. The bowl house impound. Needed to reload that one faster than I thought. Some fierce at night, Lady Comstock and a prophet. Could never make out what it was about for my bunk, though. After the worst, I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. And like a fool, I lingered. Scullery maid was what they called me when I walked into Comstock House. Murderer was what they shouted when I ran out. Thanks. 
so many things to loot. Man, this game must be either an OCD person's nightmare or dream. Uh, let's go up. Becoming a rebel, one faucet at a time. Yeah, waste all that water. Fuck the environment. Actually, I'm gonna turn those off. <laughs> 